Hello and welcome to Back to Coding. In the previous video, we saw object keyword in Kotlin. In this video, we will see companion object in Kotlin. First, let us understand what is a static keyword. The static keyword when applied to a class member makes it common to all instances of the class rather than specific to each instance. The static member gets memory only once and remove the need to duplicate items which are common to all instances. If you don't know what are instances, you can refer to my earlier video titled Instances and References in Kotlin. The link is in the description below. But let me tell you that there is no static keyword in Kotlin. In our previous YouTube video, we saw what is singleton pattern and we also saw how just by declaring a member variable or method as static, we can simply call that member variable or method using just the class name without instantiating it. So the question is, if there is no static keyword in Kotlin, then how does Kotlin handle the concept of static for avoiding duplication. So in Kotlin, we can create companion object inside the class, which is an alternative way to static keyword in Java. If you need a function or a property to be tied to a class rather than to instances of it, then you can declare it inside a companion object. The companion object is singleton and its members can be accessed directly via the name of the containing class. So let's discuss some important topics related to companion objects. A companion object is initialized when the class is loaded. A class can have only one companion object. Companion objects cannot be nested and cannot be declared outside the class. A companion object is common to all instances of the class. Let's go to our editor and understand it practically. Here in the student class, we have a companion object which is used for creating unique roll numbers for each student. This current roll number value is common to all instances and is used when new student instance is created. Factory pattern is the common use case for static members for creating new class instances. Here we have made the primary constructor private and have added a factory method new student to the companion object which is used to create new instances. Also by creating the constructor private, we are enforcing new student instances to be created only by using factory method, which makes sure that current roll number value is properly incremented whenever new student instance is created. Next, we create details of student as singleton similar to our previous video. And now we will create new student instances using the dot operator to call the companion object method on the class name. Let's run it. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't to get more such informational content. Please give it a like, share it with your friends and comment down your thoughts below. And don't forget to check my other videos which can be helpful to you.